celebrating Act Two, is celebrating today with Bill Jordan. Ta-da! How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Bill, I'm so good great. to see I'm so you guys. Yes. Good to Embrace see you. I, listen, part of Can embracing the boom, your your wonderful philosophy, um, part of embracing the boom is just accepting where we are in life. You know, mm-hmm. and one of the things that I've been looking at is I'm driving a car from, I think it's a 2004 uh, Nissan Sentra. I really don't need to get rid of it. No. But, I mean, it's doing fine. But right. somehow I'm looking at cars. I, maybe not a new car. Maybe, right. you know, a, a more new used car. You mean but like a Model is- T? A Model T or a Model B? <laughs> well, the question is, I, I'm thinking of getting a pickup truck, you know? Now, really, mm. I don't need a pickup truck. Yeah, you do. Age, you do, John. You do. The, so the, here's the question. Am I too old to buy a car? Should I be buying a new car, really? Here's, a, here's the cool thing. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I told you I'm easy these days. That's like, you do whatever you want to do. My point is this. you got a car that runs fine. Here's my mindset. A car to me is a point A to point B thing. You know, uh, so I've got a 2007 Hyundai, a Zira with 200, almost 209,000 miles on it. And I try to make sure the oil's, you know, good. And I try to keep up with the regular maintenance and stuff. Would I like a newer car? Yeah. Would I like a sound system that's not a six CD changer? <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. And, and that way I could download podcasts and listen to podcasts in the car through the Bluetooth. And I, I love that. My daughter and son-in-law come rolling up in their new Toyota Highlander. And as they're pulling out, I do I give them the spiel my dad used to give me when I was leaving. Hey, have you checked your oil? He looks at the dash. Yeah, it's good. Have you checked your tire pressure? Looks at his dash. Yeah, it's good. Have you checked your radio? Yeah, it's good. Everything's on the panel. Everything is like a digital, yeah. like a fighter pilot looking at his heads-up display. Everything he sees is right there, right? So you don't have to check your oil and your tires anymore. The the everything does it for you. Um, I would like, uh, you know what? If I were to 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 be honest with you, John, I said it's like not like I'm I'm a car guy, but if I were to win the lottery and like money was no object, I would be right there with you. I would want a pickup truck just because I want a pickup truck. I can't tell you why I want a pickup truck. Yeah, I want a pickup truck. I want a convertible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Those those infinity, I don't know what the model is, but there's an infinity that's got a they've got a and it's a rear wheel drive, which I prefer front wheel drive, but uh the, the infinity I believe is a rear wheel, but it's a just a great looking convertible. You can't beat the Ford Mustang. The Ford Mustang, the classic convertible. I would love yeah. that. I would love a really nice SUV. I would like a really nice sedan. I'd get a you know BMW seven series or a or an Audi A eight if money were no object. But here's what somebody told me a long time ago, and I think it makes sense. And it applies to boats as well. People say, you know, you, you guys want to buy a boat. You know, it's a, it's the old classic line. There, the two happiest days of a guy is when he buy the day he buys the boat, the day he sells his boat. <laughs> yeah. So that somebody told me this, and this actually worked once for me. You drive what you drive, day in and day out, to the job or wherever it might be, to the you know grocery store. But if you want to, you know, you see a weekend's coming up. The weekend's going to be like mid seventies, low humidity. Go rent you a convertible. Oh, just go rent it. Take a yeah. little road trip. I would ride down to Pinehurst. We love just going to Pinehurst. An hour from here, it's just a whole nother world. Go around, shop in the village, have lunch, walk around a little bit, have a great day, and then just ride it. Ride it for the weekend, rent it, yeah. have a blast. Same thing with a pickup truck. You want to go ride in a pickup truck? Great. You know, do that. And same with a boat. You can rent boats. Yeah. You don't need that, the buying, you know, you don't, you don't need to necessarily buy it. I will tell you this also. Um, I used to, when I was on the air for years, we did endorsement commercials for a local Toyota dealership. And, uh, one of the main things that sticks out to me, and this was not said on the air, of course, but one of the to- top Toyota salesmen told me, 
He says, you know what I never buy? A new car. Yeah. Mm. And why, why is never that? buy it. You yeah. can get it get a, like a yeah. two or three year sure. certified, pre-owned, all the checks. Yeah. It takes that initial uh, depreciation. depreciation. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, I mean, that's the, I mean, if you want to do it, do it. I mean, it's none of my business what anybody does. But when I see somebody roll off the lot in a brand new car, I mean, you've already lost money. Yep. Yeah. That, that's the practical, that's the old fuddy-duddy, you know. But when you get to a certain age, you know, like I am, I mean, I say fixed income, is it? If the, depending on the market, I've got a, I've got a declining income. Mm. Yeah. Right. So do I want to buy something with interest, pay interest on something that's depreciating? Yeah, to me, to me, that wonderful day was the day that you made the last payment on the car. And oh, it was that's still, a pretty good day. And, and, it, and it still had some mileage left on it. Um, yeah. And I, know, I, I generally keep a car for 10 years. I got recently, uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, uh, got a new uh, uh, Santa Fe uh, because my Honda Pilot, which was about uh, 10 or 12 years old, uh, was beginning to rack up some repairs. I took good care of it, but, you know, it, it, it was a certain age, uh, transmission more than anything else. I said, you know what? I don't want to have to deal with that anymore. But my wife's car, which is a 2007 uh, uh, Corolla, we got our high-end version of it, uh, only has 54,000 miles on it. Wow. So it's like a brand new car. And we haven't yeah. made a payment on that car for, what, yeah. uh, after 40, I mean, after 40 that, thing's like, get, that thing's just getting broken in. My wife's got an 08 Toyota RAV4. Yeah. <coughs> okay, but let's take care of John here. Let, you know, it's not about us. It's about John and his pickup truck. It's about so, John, John are you going to go out and get a pickup truck? Well, I like the idea that Bill said you know, he doesn't know why you need a pickup truck. Nobody a, needs a pickup truck. So that's truck. exactly well, the reason somebody. you should get it. You know, but, if you're a landscape guy and you need to haul sod. Yeah, he's got to put rain straw. We can't rationalize it. Does your son in law have a pickup truck, John? Does your son in law have a pickup truck? I, I've never had a pick. Oh, yeah, I did have a pickup truck. I had a 1949 Ford pickup truck. What about your son? Why? Your son that you live near? Your son in law. Oh, yeah. He's got a big, big honking. Oh, then you don't need a pickup truck. Okay. If, if, the, if he'll loan it to you again. <laughs> exactly. It, you don't need a pickup truck if you've got a friend or family member with a pickup truck. Who will loan it well, to that's, you? That's true. But that's not the need part. <laughs> there is no need part. Right. Yeah, wait, pickup trucks. Sure, pickup trucks are like convertibles, Bill. You just talked about it. it well, it, you know what, Bill? A day, there's a day when you just need to be driving a pickup truck. Yeah, you're wrong. Go rent it. Go rent now, it. And even if you don't have a rifle, you want a you want a gun rack over the rear window. Right. Right. That's that's the important part. Don't get it without the gun yeah. rack. But but well, let me. Some people, do, it's a sports car, right? Yeah. For me, it's a pickup truck. What okay. can I tell you? Well, you know, though, and, and Bill, unless you have a final word somehow, why don't we uh, raise our cups? Let's to, do that. I, that's to, my final word. To, hey, you know what? If you want to buy it, buy it. It's not. Hey, it's your money, not mine. Em, <laughs> em, embrace your pickup truck, John. Yeah, man, well, it's so, part of embracing the boom. Absolutely. Yeah. Do your thing. If it makes you happy, go for it. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Thanks, and guys. Embrace the boom. Go, boomers. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.